hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use zapier and quickbooks let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in quickbooks i need you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Integrating Zapier with QuickBooks allows you to automate accounting tasks, streamline workflows, and of course, connect QuickBooks with thousands of other apps. Now, once you are logged into your QuickBooks account, I want you to hover to the left-hand panel of your dashboard, depending on the subscription plan that you have acquired here in QuickBooks. Your interface might be different from what I have. On the um, My Apps or Apps section on the left side, I want you to click on the Find Apps. And here you can search tools, apps, or your business needs. So you can browse categories if you wanted, get customers, get paid, manage workforce, or you can browse by industries. Is it going to be accounting, administration, entertainment, and a lot more. But if you can't find the uh, tools that you wanted, especially the uh, Zapier, all I have to do is type in the tools here. Type in Zapier. Now, as you can see, QuickBooks natively does not have the Zapier integration. What we need to do is go to the Zapier itself. And if you are a fan of the Deep Laughs channel, you know we have so many tutorials and how-tos about Zapier automation that you might want to check out. So in this case, all you have to do is click this orange button to connect QuickBooks Online to 6,000 plus apps. Alright, so um, in, uh, the, in this case, we're going to pick an app to pair with and you have all these options. You can use uh, the uh, formatter by Zapier, paths by Zapier, filter by Zapier. You can also have the um, other stuff here. But for now, we're going to be using the... Uh, filter by zapier integration but of course you can use the other one you can connect quickbooks online to filter by zapier and automate your work and have all of these endless possibilities when you click this orange button and connect these apps and as you can see you would be forwarded to a new page wherein we are going to create our first zap i'm going to rename this one for now and of course, you can learn the basics by watching the video. But I want you to go to the QuickBooks because from here, we need to choose the trigger event. In the event, depending on your specific needs and goals, all you have to do is, for example, if you wanted to select the event that triggers when you add a new account or it triggers when a new bill is added. You can also choose the triggers when a new credit memo is created. Or maybe, if you want it, you can use the triggers when you add a new customer, depending on your needs and goals, all right? Now, in my case, I'm going to be uh, putting in the uh, triggers when you add a new customer. And of course, from here, you need to choose the account and click on sign in. And as you can see, most people should choose the default production, which is going to be uh, this one. Or you can use the sandbox. We are going to show on the separate video on how to use the sandbox. But for now, we're going to choose to the default production. All right. I'm just, I don't want to prolong this video. And from here, all I have to do is just put in the information. Make sure your information is correct. And that aligns with your QuickBooks online. Okay. I'm going to click on create. And from here, just authorize these apps and click on connect. Just wait for it. There's going to be a status bar on the progress. And that's that. All right. Now, here, you can simply click on continue. And you can test your trigger. All right. To confirm that your trigger is set up correctly and working. And of course, from here, click on this button. Because automating processes with a Zapier minimizes the risk of manual data entry, such as typos, miscalculations, and with consistent data flow between QuickBooks and other apps, you can ensure your financial records are always accurate. Now, after that, 
if you want to test the trigger again, just click on that. So I'm going to make sure we are on the right track. After doing so, we're going to go to the uh, Zapier. Because in Zapier, all right, as you can see, changing your app will clear any settings you currently have for this tab. Once you've done that, now you can keep your customer information in sync across multiple forms. For instance, when a new customer is added in QuickBooks, Zapier can automatically update your CRM, select the event by filter, ensuring data customer is consistent across systems. Now we have so many other options when we go back to the homepage. We already have saved this one. I'm going to type in again QuickBooks. As you can see, you can use this predefined template. Automate customer invoicing in QuickBooks and Google Sheets. We're not going to do that. But instead, I'm going to use the uh, formatter by Zapier. And again, the uh, same process as earlier. Just click on the orange button and let's select the event again now this time for sure just choose an event I'm just going to click on the uh, default options I'm gonna press continue and let's see if the trigger is gonna be working without any problem now, when using the uh, filter uh, formatter by uh, Zapier, you can now automate data entry and reporting tasks. You can, of course, reduce the workload of your finance. And if you're working with multiple teams within an organization, making the processes more efficient and reducing the need for manual intervention. And I believe that it helps ensure consistent accounting processes, ensuring that actions such as invoice creation, expense logging, and customer updates are performed in a timely and compliant manner. And of course, businesses can now automate tasks, ensuring accuracy, improving team collaboration, and scaling their operations effectively. Right? And we're just going to choose an event from here. Maybe we're going to be choosing a date. Uh, work with dates and times to change formatting or add subtract with that items and once and click on continue you can sit back and relax because zapier will do all the work for you and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one